Now, Black History Month is just a week away, Jordan, and two black business owners are running a role on making their mark and honoring a legacy, but in a popping way. <laughs> Take a look. As January closes, two black business owners are getting a head start into Black History Month coming this week. We just wanted to give back to our grandmothers for all the stuff that they did. So we just kind of incorporated them in the popcorn. Now Exotic Eats, a Cajun food truck, has revealed six new flavors of popcorn in dedication to their grandmother and great-grandmother. Both of their grandmothers, Thelma Spivey and Thelma Johnson, were very involved in the community and giving back was important to them. He has... Worked for Head Start over 20 years. And our great grandmother, uh, Thelma Johnson, she was a foster parent uh, here in the Brazos Valley. She fostered over 100 children in her career. Now, honoring their dedication to the community by rolling out their popcorn with a banana pudding and sweet potato flavors for the public to try, a staple in their family. Popcorn, that was a big thing for us because, you know, they mean so much to us. And, you know, we did the sweet potato pie because we grew up on um, my grandmother's sweet potato pie. Both recipes being a well-known dish in Southern black culture, says owners Andre Rashad and Brian Bissor. Absolutely, absolutely. And then our great-grandmother, she was known for, it was an old-fashioned banana pudding, not the pudding type thing. It was like pudding from scratch, and they put it in the oven, and then they topped it with the meringue. Making a pop in the community where the Exotic Eats brand will last. I think of us incorporating the popcorn just shows that we're trying to go far and beyond this year. With more to come headed into the month dedicated to their grandmothers and the culture for Black History Month. Ray, first here at KX, we'll be kicking off our Brazos Excellence Series at 6 and 10. Isn't that right, Jordan? That is, Sarah. We'll be highlighting African-American community members, leaders, and business owners right here in the Brazos Valley, so be sure to tune in.